Welcome to LoveCAD. Here is easy to follow tutorials on SOLIDWORKS. Today in this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we will make 3D design of Swill machine voice. In this video, here first we will design all the parts of Swill machine voice, then assemble them all in assembly section of SOLIDWORKS. And at last, we will see how to apply motion study to this assembled unit. So let's first see all the parts of Swill machine voice which we are going to create in this video. The first one is moving jaw, second is jaw plate, third is jaw plate screw, fourth is moving jaw base clamp, then moving jaw bolt, then comes screw rod, then screw rod washer, the eighth one will be swill base. Ninth one will be clamping bolt, then the clamping nut and at last we will do the body part. Now I have drawings of some important components of swivel machine voice. You can take screenshot of these drawings for reference. Finally, let's start with the first part that is moving jaw. For this, in SOLIDWORKS, go to new. Select part. Okay. Now first we will change the material. For this go to edit material. In steel tree. Select plain carbon steel. And click on apply. Close this. Now for the sketch part of moving jaw. We will start from right plane. Go to right plane. Select sketch. Now select center line. And create one center line which will pass through this origin like this. Now select circle and create two circle at origin like this. Next select line and start from this quadrant to this quadrant. Okay. Adjust this line. Now select smart dimension and assign the dimension of smaller circle as 25 mm and the dia of this bigger circle is of 50 mm now select trim entities and trim this unwanted sketches adjust this line now again select line and draw as given in the drawing so first I am going to start from here, do it like this, again select line, start from here, now the last line is like this, ok, now go to smart dimension. And now assign all the dimension. First, the distance between these two lines is of 3 mm. Next, the distance of this line and the origin is of 50 mm. This line and the origin is of 24 mm. These distan distance is of 22 mm. Now the distance between these two lines is of 16 mm. Distance of this point to this center line is of 120 mm. This point and the center line is of 184 mm. This distance is of 42 mm okay now go to add relation and select this point and this point and make it vertical okay so i've given all the dimension next select center point arc and create one arc from this point like this. Again select this center point arc 
and create one arc starting from here like this okay next next press control and select this point and this point and make it vertical okay now select this point and this point of both arc and make it merge next again select these two curve and give relation tangent okay now we will add dimension to this curve first this is of 22 mm and this is again 22 mm okay now select trim entities and trim this line done next step is select the half sketch like this press ctrl and select the center line and click on mirror entities this will mirror mirror this half drawing to the next side of center line now select fillet of 3 mm and create two fillet here okay next go to features select extrude boss base now select this part and this part in direction one select mid plane and give dimension 140 mm click on ok next open sketch one click on sketch one sorry and go to extrude boss base now select the rest part this one and this one select mid plane and extrude up to 58 mm okay so this is done now go to front plane select sketch normal to now in front plane select line create one sketch like this this is a close figure now press control the center point of this small line and select this center point and make it horizontal okay now go to smart dimension and assign the dimension this line is of 12 mm this line is again 12 mm distance from this line to this line is of 10 mm and the height from this line to this line is of 50 mm okay next go to features select extrude boss base select mid plane and extrude up to 190 mm okay now this is this looks like this next again select front plane sketch normal to this time select this line and click on convert entities and again copy this line now select line and close this figure like this go to features select extrude cut in direction one select through all both click ok so this is done now from sketch one first select sketch one and select extrude cut now select the sketches this 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 so what i have selected is
so this is the sketch you have to select now next select offset of 29 mm change the direction and click on through all okay so this is done next again select front plane sketch normal to select line and create one triangle like this Now go to smart dimension and assign the length of this distance as 24 mm. Okay. Go to features, select extrude boss, click on mid plane and extrude up to 184 mm. Okay. So now it looks like this. Next, you have to select Fillet option in Features, Dimension will be 10mm only and select this edge and this edge. Click on OK. Now next, we have to create the thread and holes. For this, select this surface, go to sketch, normal to, select one center line and create one center line like this. Select point and create one point on any side of this center line. Now for dimensions, select smart dimension and assign the dimension from this edge as 24 mm. And from the center line, the dimension is of 126 mm. Okay. Next, select this point and the center line by pressing Ctrl and click on Mirror Entity. Done. Exit the sketch. Go to Whole Wizard. Now, in standard, select A N. SI metric and type select bottoming tapped hole and the size is of 10, 10 into 1.5 so search here okay in end condition change this to 16 mm that is blind hole depth and this will be of 20 mm Now go to position, select 3D sketch and click on this points. Okay. So we have created the holes. Next, select thread. In thread location, select this. This edge. This is metric die. This will be of 50 mm dia. Size is of 10 into 1.5. Now click on mirror profile which is very important ok rest is same click ok again go to thread and now select this edge all the entities is ok click on mirror profile done now hide this sketch let me hide the okay 
Now select this surface, go to sketch, normal to, create two center line from the origin like this. Select point and create one point over here. Go to smart dimension and assign the dimension as 26 mm from this edge. 76 mm from this center line. Okay. Now click on this point and the center line by pressing control and select mirror entities. Now again do the same, press control and select these two point and the center line and click on mirror entities. So we have created four points on this surface. Now next go to first exit this sketch. Now go to whole wizard. Here you have to select the size as 12 into 1.5 this dimension is of 20 mm okay go to position select 3d sketch and click on the mark points click on ok so we have created hole again on this surface next for thread go to thread select the edge the die is of 18 Here select M12 into 1.5. Select on mirror profile. Okay. So one whole one thread is done. Next go to linear pattern. In features select thread 3. Now for direction 1, select this edge. Number of instance will be 2 and the di distance is of 88 mm. Now for, di for direction 2, select this edge, change the direction and the distance is of 152 mm. Okay. So we have created 4 threads on this surface. Next, hide this sketch. Now select this surface, click on sketch. Select this circle and click on convert entities. So we have a circle on this surface. Next, go to features and in curve section, select helix and spiral. In this, select height and pitch. Height is of 76.5 mm and the pitch is of 4 mm. Now reverse the direction. 0 degree. Starting angle will be 0 degree and clockwise. Okay. So we have created the helix here. Now select top plane. Click on sketch. Normal to. Now I am going to create one sketch like this. Press control and select these two point or the center point 
and give relation vertical okay again select these two points and give relation horizontal okay let's go to smart dimension and assign the dimension of this line as 2 mm and the dimension of these two lines as 2 mm again next for the angle let me adjust this okay now for the angle go to smart dimension and select these two lines and assign the angle as 29 mm 29 degrees sorry okay now in next step select this point select this point and this helix and click on pierce entities okay exit this sketch now go to features and select sweep cut first select this sketch in the path select this helix click on ok now hide this helix Now we have done with the moving jaw. It looked like this. Now go to save as. Name it as moving jaw. M O V I N G J A W. And save this. Now the next part is jaw plate. For this, go to SolidWorks. In SolidWorks, go to new. Select part. OK. Now first I'm going to edit the material. So go to edit material and select AISI 1045 steel coltron in steel section. Click apply, close this. Now select right plane, sketch, create one center point rectangle here. Go to smart dimension and add dimension as 54 mm to this side and 190 mm to this side okay go to feature extrude boss base select mid plane extrude up to 15 mm okay now to create hole go to hole wizard In standard, select ANSI metric. Size is M14. And this dimension are same. Now go to position. Select 3D sketch. Click anywhere on this surface. Next, go to smart dimension. And give a proper dimension to this hole. This length is of 28 mm and the distance from this point to this point is of 63 mm okay close this now next go to mirror mirror about front plane and in features select c bore okay so we have done with jaw plate now save this and name it as jaw plate okay close this now next part is jaw plate screw for this in solidworks go to new select part okay first change the material go to edit material in the steel section, select AISI1020, click on apply, close this. Now start from the top plane, go to sketch, create one circle, select smart dimension and assign the dia of this circle as 14 mm. Go to features, select extrude boss base and extrude up to 6 mm. 
Now on this side, go to sketch, select circle, create one circle, go to smart dimension and assign the dia as 10 mm. Go to features, extrude boss base, extrude up to 24 mm. Okay. Now for thread, in whole wizard, select thread option. In thread location, select this edge. Click on offset and make it 5 mm. Change the direction. In end condition, select blind and the length of this thread should be of 21 mm. In specification, change it to my metric die. Size should be M10 into 1.5. Thread method is cut thread. And in thread option, select right handed thread. Click on OK. So our thread is done. Now next select front plane. Go to sketch. Select center point rectangle and create one rectangle here. Now press control and select this origin and the center point of this line and make it coincident. Okay. Now for dimension, select smart dimension and give the dimension as 2.5 mm to this side and again 2.5 mm to this side. Okay. Now go to features, select extrude cut in direction, select through all both. Click OK. So we have done with jaw plate screw. Now go to save. Name this as jaw plate screw. Click on save. Exit this. Our next part is moving jaw based clamp. For this, in SOLIDWORKS, go to new, select part, OK. Now first change the material, go to edit material, in steel section, select plain carbon steel, click on apply, close this. Now start from the top plane, sketch, create one center point rectangle, assign the dimension, select smart dimension, Length of this side is 140 and the dimension of this line is 42. Okay. Now select center line, create one center line. Select a circle, create one here. Go to smart dimension and the dia of this circle is of 12 mm. Click on the center and this center line and give the dimension as 88 mm. Distance from this line to this point is 16 mm. Okay. Go to mirror, select this entity and mirror about this center line. Now go to features, extrude boss base, select mid plane. And extrude up to 16 mm. Okay. So our moving jaw base clamp is ready. Now save this. Go to save as. Name it as moving jaw base clamp. Save this. Exit the part. Now the next part is moving jaw bolt. For this, in SOLIDWORKS, open new part. OK. First select the material. Go to edit material. In steel section, select 
AISI1020, click on apply, close this. Now select top plane, sketch, create one polygon like this, add dimension of this circle as 19 mm, go to features, extrude boss base, extrude up to 7.76 mm, now select this surface, sketch, create one circle and the dia is of the same length as of polygon, ok. Now go to features, select extrude cut, in this section select through all. Now to cut this select flip side to cut and add angle as 60 degree, ok. So the bold shape is done, now select this side, sketch, again create a circle. Add dimension as 12 mm. Go to features, extrude boss base and extrude up to 35 mm. Ok. Now for thread, select thread from whole wizard. Ok. Now in location, first select this edge and give offset of 5 mm change the direction this is done to start the thread from the ed edge in end condition select blind the thread length should be of 25 mm in specification the size is of m12 into 1.5 mm click on cut thread and right hand thread in thread option ok so we have done with the thread also now our bolt is done next save it as moving jaw bolt now the next part is screw rod and for this open solidworks select new select part Click on OK. Now first I am going to change the material of the screw rod. So go to edit material and in steel section select AISI1020. Click on apply. Close this. Now start from the front plane. Select sketch. First create one center line which passes through origin like this. Now select line and create one sketch as given in the drawing like this now press control select the origin and this point and give relation vertical next to add dimension select smart dimension and give dimension so this die is of 25 mm, this is of 30 mm, now again this is 25 mm, this is of 16 mm, now this is of 12 mm length, this is 50 mm length. Now this is of 130 mm and the whole length is of 448 mm. Okay, so we have done this dimension part. First I am going to adjust this dimension. So 
60. Okay. Next, stretch this center line. Now go to features, select revolve base boss, and in axis, select this center line. Click OK. Next, select this surface, right click, go to sketch, normal to. First, I'm going to copy this circle for this select convert entities and select this circle okay so we have created the circle next select center point rectangle and create one rectangle from origin go to smart dimension and assign the length as 19 mm to both side of this square okay next go to features select extrude cut and in contour section, select these four contours. Now in direction one, select offset from the surface and select this surface. And add offset of 6 mm. Click OK. Next I am going to create one plane. For this, go to reference geometry, select plane. In first reference, select top plane and in second reference, select front plane. Okay, so we have created plane 1. Now right click on plane 1, select sketch, normal 2. Next select center line and create one center line here. Now select line and create one small sketch starting from this point like this and it here next select three point arc and create one arc by connecting these two points like this now press control select this center point of arc and the center line and give relation coincident okay Next, go to Smart Dimension and assign the dimension. This is of 2 mm, and again, this length is 2 mm. Okay. Now, the radius of this arc is 25 mm. Done. So, we have done with the dimension and sketch. Next, go to Features, select Revolve Cut. Select this axis and you will get this shape. Now hide this plane one. Next select fillet. Add 5 mm dimension and select these four edges. The first one, second, third one and the fourth one. Click on OK. Next, I'm going to create a thread on this body. For this, I will first create one plane which is 30 mm apart from this surface. So, select this surface and add dimension 30 mm. OK. Now, sketch on plane 2 and select convert entities and copy this circle on that plane so we we have created one circle on plane 2 next go to features in curve section select helix and spiral in define by section select height and pitch height is 226 mm and pitch is of 4 mm starting angle is 0 degree and clockwise direction then so we have created the helix next hide the plane to now go to top plane sketch normal to here we have to create a profile so start from this point create a trapezoidal shape 
using line command like this now go to smart dimension and assign the dimension first select these two center point of the line and add dimension to mm now the height is of 2 mm again the angle between these two lines is of 29 degrees now press ctrl and select these two center point and give relation horizontal ok now again select these two line and give relation horizontal again press control and select these two points and give relation vertical so we have created the profile next go to features and select sweep boss base select this profile and in path select this helix done now we have created the thread now i'm going to hide this helix now the last is to create thread on this part of this screw rod for this select thread now in this edge section select this edge the die is of 22 mm size is m16 into 1.5 in thread method select cut thread and rest is same click ok so our screw rod is done go to save as and save this part the next part is screw rod washer and for this now in solidworks select new part ok go to material select edit material now in steel section select aisi1020 click on apply close this now select right plane Create two circle. Give dimension. The bigger circle is of 42 mm and the smaller is of 17 mm. Go to features. Extrude boss. In dimension. Extrude up to 8 mm. Okay. Now save this. Now save this part as screw rod washer. Click on save. Exit this part. The next part is swivel base. For this, open SolidWorks. Go to new. Select part. OK. Now first we will draw the sketch. According to the drawing, for this, go to front plane, sketch, select center line, and create one center line which passes through this origin. Okay. Again, select center line and create one center line on the left side of this previous center line. Now, select line. And draw a small sketch as given in the drawing add dimension go to smart dimension this is of 18 mm dia now this is 28 mm dia and the length of these two line is of 12 mm Again, 12 mm and the distance between these two center line is of 62 mm 
okay now select this sketch and click on mirror entities to mirror this part of drawing to this side next again select line and create the remaining sketch like this make it a close figure as we have to revolve this okay let's select smart dimension and assign the dimension first this die is of 32 mm now this die is of 54 mm This is of 14 mm and this length is of 2 mm this is 28 mm this is of 14 mm and the angle between these two lines is of 80 degrees This line is of 16 mm. Now the distance of this point from this is of 184 mm. 34, 32, 54, 16, 2, 14, 18, 28, 12, 12, 28, 14, 80 degrees. Okay, we have done with the dimension. Now go to features, select revolve base boss, and select the center line. Okay. Now select the surface, go to sketch, create two center line which passes through the coordinates of the circle okay now select circle create one circle from origin and two cent circle on this horizontal center line now go to smart dimension and assign the dimension of this smaller circle as 17 mm the bigger one dia is of 38 mm now this circle dimension is of 202 mm Now distance of this circle center point is of 254 mm. Okay, now select line and create one line like this. Then connect it to this circle. Again select line and connect this quadrant to this line okay now go to smart dimension and assign the distance this line as 292 mm okay next press control and select these line And this vertical center line and click on mirror entities to mirror this sketch to this side now select trim entities and trim the part which we don't need from this sketch 
like this. Okay. Now go to fillet, add dimension 50 mm, and select these two points. Okay. Now select this part of the sketch and press Ctrl and deselect this and this line and select this center line and click on mirror entities now again select trim entities trim the unwanted sketch ok now go to features select extrude boss base select this close figure text give offset of 6mm Change the direction. Now here select dimension of 22 mm. Again change the direction. Okay. So now we have to show this sketch to select on this line. Click on Extrude Boss Base In Selected Contour, clear the selection and select these two sketches Change the direction and give dimension of 31mm to be extruded Ok Now hide this sketch so it will look like this now select this surface go to sketch select center rectangle create one rectangle of 17 mm length go to features select extrude cut and cut up to 6 mm okay Now select this inner surface, go to sketch, now select this line and click on convert entities, again select this circle and click on convert entities. So we have created two circles on this surface. Next, select center rectangle and create one rectangle from origin. Go to smart dimension and add dimension 32 mm. Okay, let's go to trim entities and trim the unwanted sketch which we don't need. Next, go to features, select extrude cut. In this section, select through all. Okay. So we have done with the swell base. Now change the material. Go to material, right click, select edit material. In this material tree, select iron and malleable cast iron apply this close now go to save as name it as swell base save this now close this the next part is clamping bolt for this in solidworks open new part okay in material edit material and select AISI 1020 
click on apply close it now select front plane sketch select one center rectangle create a rectangle give the dimension this should be 28 mm and this dimension should be 25 mm okay now select three point arc create one arc here again do the same on this side now select trim entities trim this part and this line too okay now select smart dimension and assign the dimension of this arc as 110 mm and this arc should be 138 mm let me adjust this dimensions so our first sketch is done go to features extrude boss extrude up to 10 mm okay select this side sketch create one circle Now give the relation by pressing control, select the center and the center point and give the relation vertical. Okay. Now select smart dimension and the distance between these two points should be of 1.4 mm and make the circle of 15 mm dia. Okay, go to features, select extrude boss and extrude up to 48 mm. Okay. Now for thread, in whole wizard section, select thread. Now first thread location, select this edge. Angle will be of 0 degree. This will be blind and the length should be of 20 mm in type select metric tap size should be of 16 into 1.5 mm in thread method select extrude thread okay click on okay so we have done with this clamping bolt now go to save name it as clamping bolt next part is clamping nut for this go to solidworks in solidworks open new select part okay first change the material go to edit material in this select aisi 1020 in steel tree click on apply close this go to top plane sketch select polygon make one hexagon just like this now select circle, create one circle from this origin only. Now give dimension to this polygon as 24 mm and the die of this circle will be of 15 mm. Okay, go to features, extrude boss base, select mid plane and extrude up to 12 mm. Okay. Next, select the surface, sketch. Again, select one circle. Create one circle of the same dia as of polygon. Okay. Now go to features, 
and select extrude cut now flip the side to cut as we have to remove this part for the shape now select angle as 60 degree okay now to copy this just go to mirror uh, mirror about top plane in features select a cut extrude one okay now next select chamfer give dimension 1 mm select this edge done now for thread select thread in whole wizard section in thread locations select this edge okay give offset of 11 mm in end conditions select blind and the length of the thread will be of 30 mm next select metric tab in specification and select m16 m16 into 1.5 mm thread method select cut thread uh, change the offset direction okay I'll click ok now the thread is also done so nut is completed now go to save name it as clamping nut save it now the last part is body for this go to solidworks in solidworks open new click on part ok now first change the material of the body for this go to edit material in steel section select plain carbon steel click on apply and close this now first i am going to do the base part so start from the top plane sketch first select center point straight slot and create one slot at origin like this now select circle and create two circle at the end of the center line and two concentric cent circles on origin like this next select smart dimension and assign the dimension of this slot which is 124 mm the radius of this slot is of 20 mm the circle dia is of 17 mm again 17 mm for this circle this circle is of 54 mm and the bigger circle dia is of 184 mm ok now go to features select extrude boss base select this bigger circle and extrude up to 22 mm give the draft angle as 10 degrees click on ok now select sketch 1 click on extrude cut now from this figure select these three circles flip the direction and click on through all ok now go to front plane sketch normal to select line and create one sketch like this as given in the drawing select smart dimension and assign all the dimensions first this is of 12 mm this is of 10 mm the smaller line is of 50 mm this bigger line is of 64 mm now this length is of 132 mm and the distance from origin 
is of 77 mm now go to features select extrude boss base click on mid plane and extrude up to 190 mm okay Now sketch on this surface normal to first create a center line like this. Now select line and create one trapezoidal figure like this. Go to smart dimension. This distance is of 25 mm. Angle between these two lines is of 45 degrees. Length from the center line is of 184 mm. Click on OK. Next, select the whole sketch and click on Mirror Entities. Now go to Features, select Extrude Boss Base and extrude up to 82 mm flip the direction click on ok next go to front plane sketch normal to just select a line and create one triangular figure like this by connecting these points now go to smart dimension and assign the angle between these two lines as 45 degrees. OK. Go to Feature. Select Extrude Cut. In Direction, select Through All Both. Click on OK. Next, right click on this surface. Go to Sketch. Normal to. First, create a center line like this. Now, select line and draw a sketch according to the given diagram. Again, select line and complete the sketch. Now for dimension, go to Smart Dimension and assign the dimension. So first, this distance is of 25 mm. This is of 12 mm. Now this is of 58 mm. This is of 82 mm. This is of 120 mm and the distance from the origin to this end is 232 mm. So we have done the dimension part. Now select the whole sketch. Click on mirror entities to complete this sketch. Now go to feature, select extrude boss base. First select these two contours. Flip the direction and in this section, click up to surface and select this phase one. Okay. Now go to right plane, sketch, normal to, again click normal to. Here first draw a center line like this. Now select line and create one sketch like this. All the lines should be vertical. End it here. Now for dimension, go to smart dimension 
and assign all the dimension first this distance is of 82 mm this is of 92 mm now this height is of 24 mm this is of 22 mm okay so see the sketch now just copy the whole sketch and click on mirror entities now go to features select extrude cut now in direction 1 select through all and in direction 2 select up to surface and click on this surface ok so we have created this slot here next from sketch 1 just select sketch 1 and go to extrude boss base now select these two contours and extrude up to 24 mm okay now to remove this extra part just select sketch 5 and click on extrude cut now select this inner sketch and in direction 1 select up to surface and select this surface so we have done this now go to front plane sketch normal to select a center line create one center line on this origin select line create one slant line like this now go to add relation select these two lines and give relation parallel ok next go to smart dimension and assign the dimension so this distance is of 5 mm the distance from top to this point is of 57 mm and the distance between these two lines is of 11 mm ok we have done the dimension part next select convert entities and convert this line ok now go to trim entities and trim this extra part as we need this line only now select line and join this line to make a close figure like this ok now go to features select extrude boss base select this contour in direction 1 select up to surface and select this face that is face 1 now in direction 2 again select up to surface and select this face that is face 2 ok so this part is done but here we can see the extra material on this body to remove this just select the same sketch that is sketch 7 go to extrude cut now select this smaller contour in direction 1 select through all both click on ok so this is nice now now we have to remove this half circle for this select sketch 1 click on extrude cut click on this circle change the direction and click on through all ok
now i'm going to cover this part of body so for this sketch on this surface normal to now first select center line create one center line like this now go to convert entities and convert this circle select line and start a line from the intersection of these two point where you can see the two perpendicular symbols just follow the sketch now select a rectangle and create one rectangle like this now go to smart dimension and assign the distance from center line which is 42 mm and this distance is of 351 mm click on ok next go to trim entities trim the extra lines okay now select this line and simply delete this next select all the sketch click on mirror entities now go to feature select extrude boss base in direction one select up to surface and click on this surface So we have created this. Next, go to front plane, sketch, normal to create one sketch using line. Close this sketch. Now go to Smart Dimension and assign the dimensions. The distance from top to this line is of 50 mm. This small line distance is of 70 mm. The distance between these two lines is of 5 mm. Now go to features, select extrude cut. In direction 1, select through all both. Okay. So this is the shape we get. Now sketch on this surface. Normal to select circle and create two concentric circle vertical to this center point so go to smart dimension and assign the dimension that is 18 mm to the smaller circle and the dia of the bigger circle is of 42 mm next distance from this top line to the center of the circle is of 71 mm okay go to feature select extrude boss base and extrude up to 5 mm check the direction okay next sketch on this surface normal to select one rectangle and create one rectangle like this now go to smart dimension and assign the distance between these two lines as 48 mm now select origin and the center point of this line and make this vertical okay 
next select circle to create one circle from this point now go to trim entities and trim the extra lines to get this sketch now go to features select extrude cut in direction select up to surface and select this surface click on ok now select this sketch 10 that is the circle one go to features select extrude cut in this extrude up to 5 mm and flip the side to cut click on flip side to cut change the direction click ok so this is the surface we have created now again select sketch 10 click on extrude boss base in from section select surface face or plane and select this surface flip the direction and extrude up to 5 mm click ok now again select sketch 10 go to extrude cut select the smaller circle first clear this select the smaller circle and in direction select through all both click ok next select this surface sketch normal to create one circle assign the dimension which is 25 mm dia ok go to figure select extrude cut Select through all. Okay. Now select front plane. Sketch normal to select rectangle. Create one rectangle on this line. Go to Smart Dimension and assign the length of these two lines as 12 mm. Now the distance from origin is of 32 mm. Click on OK. Go to Features, select Extrude Boss Base. Now in direction 1, select up to next and in direction 2, again select up to next. OK. Now for thread and holes, simply sketch on this surface, normal to. First create a center line like this. This should be vertical. Select point. Create one point on this surface. Assign the dimension. This distance is of 24 mm. Distance from the center line is of 63 mm. Okay. Now to mirror this, select this point and this center line and click on mirror entities now for hole go to features exit plane select hole wizard now in standard it is a n s i metric type bottoming tap hole size is 
m10 into 1.5 blind hole depth change this to 16 mm rest is same now go to position select 3d sketch click on this two point so we have created the hole next for thread go to thread select this edge in end condition change the die to 16 mm size is m10 into 1.5 this step is most important that is you have to click on mirror profile done again select thread now click on this edge all the entities are same just click on mirror profile okay so we have created these two threads let me close this tree hide this sketch Now I have to create thread on this surface for this sketch on this surface. Click on convert entities and convert this line, this circle. Okay. Now go to features, select helix and spiral. In define by section. Select height and pitch. Make height 39.5 mm. Pitch must be 4 mm. Reverse the direction. Change this to 0 degree. OK. Now select this point. On helix, go to re reference geometry, click on plane. In first reference, select this point. In second reference, select top plane and create one plane. Now sketch on this plane, normal to. Now I'm going to create one profile by using this line command. Now simply press control and click on these two center points of the line and give relation horizontal. Again, select the center point. and give relation vertical okay now for dimension go to smart dimension assign the angle between these two lines as 29 degrees now the height is of 2 mm now this distance is of 2 mm again so we have done with the profile part. Now click this point and this helix by pressing control key and give relation pairs. Okay. Exit the plane. Go to sweep cut in profile. Select this sketch and in path select this helix click on ok now hide this plane and again hide this helix 
so we have created the thread using profile next now click on this surface sketch normal to select rectangle and create one rectangle like this Again select rectangle and do same for this side. Now go to feature, select extrude boss base and in direction select up to surface and select this surface. Okay. Now select fillet and add fillet of 12 mm to this edge, edge 1, edge 2, edge 3 and 4. Okay. Now again select fillet, give dimension of 16 mm and select this edge, ok. Now again select fillet, give dimension of 2 mm. Here select this edge 1, edge 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, ok. So this is done. Again select fillet. Add dimension of 10 mm. Click this edge 1 and this edge 2. Ok. So we have done with the fillet part. Now I am going to apply draft to this, this portion of the body. So simply go to draft, select parting line, in angle select 0 degree, in direction of pull select this, check the direction. Now in parting line, select this this edge, this edge, this edge, four, five, and six. In face propagation, select along tangent, click OK. Now we have done with the body. So go to save as, save this part as body. 
click on save close this so we have created all parts of swivel machine wise now next is the assembly part for this in solidworks open new select assembly click on ok now in this section go to insert component and search for the swivel wise assembly files now first i'm going to pick body open it place it on screen right click on the body and grip relation float so it will move now now go to mate first select the front plane of the assembly and then the front plane of the body mate it close this tree close this mate now right click on the body click on fix now it will not move again i'm going to change the color of this body so the operation is easy to identify click okay next again go to insert component this time open base place it on screen like this now go to mate select this portion of the base and the inner portion of this body mate it next select this surface and the bottom portion of this body mate it close this mate now again go to insert component bring clamping bolt on the screen okay now in move component select rotate component and rotate this okay now in view select view temporary axis now go to mate select the axis of this bolt next select this axis of body mate it move this down now hide the axis again go to mate this time select the curve portion of this bolt this surface and this surface of the base give relation tangent and select align okay Next, select this portion of this base, the inner portion, that is circular surface, and this bottom surface of the head of this bolt. Okay. Now again, go to insert component and select clamping nut. Open it. Place it on screen. Now again, show the temporary axis. Go to mate. Select this axis and this axis. Mate it. So where is my nut? For this, right-click on the base, change transparency. and bring this nut out okay again right click on the base so the base hide this axis 
Now again go to mate. Select this top portion of the body and the lower portion of this bolt. Okay. So we have done with one bolt and nut assembly. Next go to linear component pattern. In component to pattern, select this bolt and nut. In direction 1, select this direction. In number of patterns, select 2. And the distance is of 124 mm. Click OK. So bolt is done. Now again go to insert component. Now select moving jaw, open it, place on the screen. Now show the temporary axis, click on mate, select the axis of the body and this moving jaw. Reverse this Okay. Now next, select this portion. Wait. Select this inner portion of the jaw and this portion of the body. Okay. So this is not done yet. Next, next, select this portion, this surface of the moving jaw and the inner portion of this body and go to advanced mate, click on the distance. Now to limit the distance, this should be 165 mm and this would be 1 mm. Click on OK. So now you can see we we have limited the movement of this moving jaw. Now again I am going to change this color. Choose any color. Now go to insert component and select moving jaw base clamp. Place it on screen. Now you can see there is more material this side than this side. So keep in mind that the more material side should be the inner one, should be placed in inner, inner side. Now view the axis, go to mate, select this axis. And this axis of moving jaw, click on OK. Next, select this axis and this axis, mate it. Now, click on this bottom of jaw, moving jaw, and this top of clamp. So first one is done. Now press control and drag this to this side. Now again so the axis go to mate. Now we have to rotate this. So for this select this axis. Select this axis. Click on flip. Okay. Next, select this axis and the next axis of this moving jaw. Mate it. Select this lower portion of the moving jaw and this portion of clamp. Click on OK. 
so this looks perfect now just remember the bigger side should be towards the body okay close this mate now go to insert component again and select moving jaw bolt open it place it on the screen so the axis select this axis and the axis of this bolt oh sorry go to mate select this axis of the bolt and this axis of the moving jaw clamp okay let's select this portion that is the head of the bolt and the lower portion of this made it so we have placed one bolt close this mate now again go to linear component pattern in component to pattern select this bolt in direction one select this direction number of patterns should be two and the distance is of 88 mm reverse the direction in direction two select this one reverse the direction number of patterns would be two again and in distance select to 152 mm click on ok now all four bolt is placed now again go to insert component and this time select jaw plate click on ok place it on screen now in jaw plate there is a portion for head to be fitted so remember this side should be the outer side now click on sew axis Go to mate, select this axis and mate it with this axis. Okay. Now again, select this axis and this axis, mate it. Select this portion of the moving jaw and this back portion of this jaw plate made it you have to check the fit between these two objects and this is proper you have to remember that this material is extra as compared to this moving jaw material okay now press control Select this plate and drag to create one more plate. Now see the uh, bolt head is fitted this side. So we have to turn this for this. Just go to mate. Select this axis and this axis click on flip ok again select this axis and this axis made it now the last step select this and this portion made it check for the fittings it is perfect if not you have to rotate this
Now go to insert component and select moving job job plate screw. Click on open. Okay. Now show the axis. Go to mate. Select the axis of this screw and the axis of this. Reverse the direction. Okay. Select this portion of this screw and this portion of this plate. Mate it. Okay. Now go to linear component pattern. Now component to be pattern, select this screw in direction 1. Select this direction. In number of pattern, select 2. And in dimension or say distance, it should be 126 mm. Reverse the direction. Click on OK. So this plate is done. Now press Ctrl and select the screw. Bring it here. Now again go to Mate. Select this axis of screw and the axis of this plate. Reverse the direction. OK. Drag it down. Next, select this portion of the screw and this portion of this plate. Meet it. Close the mate. Now go to linear component pattern. Component to pattern, select this screw in direction 1. Select this direction. The distance is 126 mm and the number, number of patterns would be 2. Okay. So we have done this plate part. Now again go to insert component and this time select screw rod and bring it to the screen. Now go to mate. So the axis. Now this time select this axis of the screw rod and the axis of this body. Mate it. Next select this portion of the body and this portion of the screw rod. Mate it. Now next, right click on the screw rod from this tree and click on height component. Now go to mate, select this circular path, path of moving jaw and the second selection should be First, sew the screw rod. Close this tree. And select this inner portion of this helix. That is the body of screw. Click OK. No, no. Don't click OK. Sorry. Now go to mechanical mate. Select screw. Select distance and revolution. Add 4 mm. And this should be aligned. Click OK. Close this mate. Now you can see as I move the moving jaw, the screw rod is automatically rotating. So you can see by rotating this too. If you rotate it clockwise, it will open 
and if you rotate it clockwise so the movement is okay now again go to insert component this time select a screw rod washer open it place it on screen go to mate now select this body of screw rod and the inner portion of this washer in concentric relation select lock rotation click ok so where is the washer this let me hide this body portion drag the washer out so this body ok now again go to mate Select this portion of the body and this portion of the washer, mate it. Close the mate, press control and drag this washer out, uh, bolt out. So the axis, go to mate, select this axis of the bolt and the axis of this screw rod mate it select this washer and this bolt mate it close this mate now we have done with the assembly of swirl voice machine you can see the movements Now after assembly we will do the motion study for this just go to motion study tab which is in the bottom of this screen open this motion study manager by clicking on this button first bring this key to 12 seconds or say 10 seconds and pull this back or say open this jaw now click on calculate Now again pull this key to 20 seconds and close this moving jaw. Now again press on calculate and see this screw rod movement. It is rotating both sides clockwise and in anti-clockwise direction so we have done the motion study you can play this you can also increase the speed okay you can save this so this is how our swivel machine voice looks like and now go to the comment section and comment the new steps you learned in this tutorial and I hope you all will like this video. If you have any queries please go ahead to the comment section and also share and subscribe us for more projects. Press bell icon for updates. Thank you. This is Amritin Jai Kumar signing off.